Okay, now we have an identity to uh, do, and uh, uh, the uh, the identity for the cosine square root of theta, sine square root of theta, those identities can be found on page 514. So please look them up. We're going to utilize them right now. So you know when we uh, uh, establish an identity, we'll uh, write the most complicated side on the left, which happens to be the left side. We'll write that down, cosine squared 2u minus sine squared 2u equals, and now let's expand this using the identities on page 514, so that's going to be one half times one plus the cosine of four u and minus and now we'll expand the identity expand uh, sine squared of two u using the identity on page five fourteen and we get one minus cosine of four u And now we'll multiply through by the one half, and we get one half t plus one half of cosine of four u minus one half plus a minus times a minus is a plus co uh, one half. I beg your pardon. One half of cosine of four u, and now these one halves add out and we get half of cosine of 4u plus half of cosine of 4u equals cosine of 4u and we've established that identity. Now we have another identity to establish. This is 2b and uh, page 512 is where you'll find the identities we're going to use for this and so now let's expand this thing and we can do the uh, sums of angles so we'll sine of this is going to be 2 theta plus theta plus theta corresponds to sine of 3 theta over sine of theta minus cosine of 2 theta excuse me plus theta over cosine of theta and uh, 2 theta plus theta is 3 theta and now that equals, and I'm going to run out of room so I'll put my equal sign right here, and now we'll expand this uh, numerator. In fact, why don't I put my equal sign even farther over so we don't run out of room. So we get sine of 2 theta cosine of theta uh, plus cosine of 2 theta theta sine of theta all over sine of theta minus cosine of 2 theta cosine of theta minus sine of 2 theta sine of theta all over cosine of theta. Now, <clears throat> uh, this equals sine of 2 theta can be rewritten as 2 sine of theta cosine of theta that will be found on page 512 times cosine of theta plus cosine of 2 theta sine of theta. 
over sine of theta minus and we've got cosine of 2 theta cosine of theta minus and we've got a uh, sine of 2 theta which will be 2 sine of theta cosine of theta times sine of theta pretty pretty scrunched up writing well notice I'm gonna to save myself some time I'm gonna break this up into two terms the denominator of sine theta will be in each of those uh, terms. Let's do the same thing here and now we'll have a denominator of cosine of theta. Cosine of theta. Well here the uh, sine of theta is divided out and we have 2 cosine squared of theta. Here these sine of theta is divide out and we get plus cosine of 2 theta minus now here these cosines divide out and we get a cosine of 2 theta and here uh, the cosine theta is divide out and we have by the way this should be I should have put in parentheses here this is a minus times this and a minus times this is going to be a plus. There's got to be parentheses around all that. As soon as I broke it up into two terms I had to do that. So that's going to be plus 2 and sine of theta times sine of theta is sine squared of theta. And now these two guys add out. And what we have is as a matter of fact, I'm going to race up here and go back upstairs to give myself some room. And what we're going to have is 2 cosine squared theta plus 2 sine squared theta, which equals 2 times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta and that's just one so that equals two and that's what we had to get to the two so we've uh, we've uh, established the identity